We wanted to make a game that felt like it was grounded in reality, our reality, not a far off future place. Developing on the PC is such a breath of fresh air compared to the consoles. It has you know, far more resources, much more memory, more CPU power. Everything in this game is a massive improvement. We've designed the game exclusively for PC right now. Uh, with that in mind, we've got DX11, We've got all the new systems that allow this game to not look dated. We have the ability to make larger environments, more active gameplay, more dynamic gameplay. This looks just as good as any other retail game that's coming out. And I know that's a huge thing to say considering free-to-plays are usually considered a lower level standard, but we're taking retail quality with this game and we're bringing it to that level. The theme that we wanted to go for in Blacklight was something that was based around human technology. We're not in a far off place on a far off planet. The style of our game uh, is mainly based on a futuristic Neo Tokyo with a lot of overbuild, a lot of signage, a very populated city that's kind of war torn, yet everything's still recognizable and feels like it's in the near future. As you're running around, you'll probably see, you know, brick sidewalks and, you know, stone buildings. But over the top of that, then you'll see really, really advanced structures and interesting elements but it was built over the top of a modern day building. You get a sense of you know, both the past and the future. Working with the Unreal Engine 3 has been really great. Uh, it's allowed us to rapidly iterate on game design ideas incredibly quickly as we evolve our game. Yeah, they'll bleed light into those sections. They should just be <laughs> equip and throw it up. It's your it's you get it right away. But it's like We're supporting DirectX 11 with all of its many features and the game just looks incredibly amazing. Some of the DirectX 11 features we're using are dynamic tessellation, dynamic lights in the scene, image reflections, and it's all worked together to provide us with a much more realistic experience that can scale between low-end and high-end hardware very easily. It's really the, the best choice for us to make the most fun, most complete game we can. The general approach to the audio design comes from drum and bass and grime, big bass, dark synth, just gritty, dark atmospherics. The sound effects play a big role in actually cueing the player on a lot of things, like the hard suit. Before a hard suit comes in, it'll be kind of like a synthy foghorn type thing, warning that kind of cues all the players in the levels. Similar with the airstrike, there's kind of a big screaming jet type sound. The music again is definitely very atmospheric and dark, almost ambient neurofunk, like a futuristic type of drum bass. That kind of crossed with some dubstep influences. So all the artistic factors of Blacklight Retribution, from the art direction, the engine itself, the audio design, has been something that the entire team is really focused on. I just want everybody to check out Blacklight Retribution and see how it compares to the other games on the market. You'll find that we're a very competitive game and we're free.